Hello, hi guys, welcome back to my the YouTube channel for MDE tutorial Microsoft Defender 4 Endpoint. And in today's video, we're going to cover up account protection policy, how you can use the account protection policy in Microsoft Defender 4 Endpoint. So let's start this. Now here is the content what we are going to cover up in this video, account protection policy explanation. Uh, the prerequisite what are the prerequisite we required account protection configuration uh, testing on the dev file so finally we'll do the testing after creation of policy so account protection policy uh, what it does account protection policy is used to protect the identity and user accounts and manage the built-in group membership on the device so basically this account protection policy is used to protect your account and even it will uh, manage your the groups membership like you want to uh, add any users inside the group or or you want to uh, allow the access or remove the access or update the group membership on the local machines or the devices now here is the prerequisite for the account protection to the support account protection preview devices in the must should have the windows 10 and the 11 so the minimum prerequisite it should have the windows 10 and 11 to use the account protection preview profile and uh, to support the local and the group profile actually there is two types of profile the account protection and the local user group membership so to support this a local user and the group membership preview uh, it's under the preview then uh, the device must run the uh, windows 10 20 h2 or the letter or the windows 11 then only you can use your the account protection policy now here is the account protection uh, profiles uh, what is that profile account protection profile so account protect uh, policy will help you to protect the user credential so if you are creating a account protection preview then it will help you to protect your the your user credential so account protection policy is focused on setting up for the windows hello and the credential guard which is the part of the identity and the access management so basically account protection is a part of your identity and the access management so windows hello for business replace the password with a strong two multi-factor authentication on the pcs and the mobile devices so credential guard help to protect the credential and the secret you have used with your the devices so basically this account protection policy uh, is part of windows identity and the access management so now another policy that's called local user group membership so use this profile to add or remove uh, or the replace membership in the built-in in the local group on the windows devices if suppose you want to modify the group membership inside your the device uh, device group local group like uh, for an example the administrator and you want to add any of user inside the administrator group so then you can use the uh, local and the group membership with this policy now here uh, let's move it to our Intune console and uh, create this uh, account protection policy and then we'll test it so now here is the Intune console. Let's go to the endpoint security. Under the endpoint security, we have the account protection policy. So let's go to the create policy, select the Windows 10 and letter. And here we have two things. One is the local group membership and the account protection policy. So let's go one by one. First, we are using this local group and the membership. So uh, as I explained in my slide, local group membership policy help you uh, to add, remove or replace the membership on the local group of the devices. So uh, uh, basically this thing should manage with the AD or the Azure AD. But if you want to uh, use it with the Microsoft Defender policy or through the Intune, you can use it. But uh, in the, um, the all the organizations it controlling by the um, AD team so let me go here and just create a local group membership this is a 
account protection policy so i can say it a double c account protection policy now let's go to the next and what are the options we can see in it here here it is a local group so which group you want to add like the administrator the user gas power user remote user so you can use any of the group suppose i want to add it under the the remote uh, access on and the under admin so just like it let it take it only the admin and i would like to add a user inside this administrator group so just use the add and uh, here will be user or the group and now let's select the user which we want to add under the administrator group so now here will be let me go with this user and now we are good if you want to select the more groups you can select it and uh, that user will be part of this group once you apply the policy so now go to the next and uh, assignment so already i created a group that called it account protection name and i added a bunch of devices inside it so now we are good let's go next and next so now our one of the policy has created done and uh, this is for to add a user inside the administrator column let's just create a one more policy quickly so about the account protection now right click here and uh, and now oh, let's fill the detail about the account protection policy now let's go to the next and here is a like account protection block windows hello for the business if you want to block the hello for the business you can do it or else or just let it select not configured and then enable the use secure key in the sign in so uh, if you say yes so you can use the uh, the security key in the sign in and uh, turn on the credential guard so uh if you want to enable that turn on the uh, the credential guard you can uh, just use this uh, enable with the uh, uefi and the without uefi so uh i have here like uh, your uh, this document from the microsoft so if you have any doubt i can copy paste in in my this um, video description so here clearly it will mention uh, how you can uh, create or uh, how you can you know um, assign the policy or all about these policy so here somewhere i find out about the csp also let me see if we have the csp for this yes so we have the csp for the lo local group so you can go on through this csp and if you want to create a by the by the xml so you can just uh, go with this uh, follow this document and you can create it so now let's go here and uh, see i'm not going to configure this uh, to turn on the credential card uh, let's not do the configure just create it scope and uh, go to this include group and here is the account protection so now let's select it here and now we are good with the policy so once we done it we assign both the policies to the about the test group now let's move it to our test machine so now i have login in the device and uh, let's go to this setting click on the setting go to the accounts i'm sorry go to the account now go to this access and the school now go here info and now sync the device so once this device is synced then it will implement the account policy on that so now the question is uh, uh, how we can validate that policy has implemented or not so uh, let's go to the computer property
note here the computer management i'm sorry i have to go to the same computer computer management so under the computer management let's open this and now it's open and uh, just let me validate the policy also has synced so our account should reflect here we used uh, this account in the policy administrator under the administrator our account this azure ad at sync has automatically added here so that is our agenda to add uh, our this azure ad r1 sync account uh, in this administrator group so guys if you want to add some more groups so what you can do you can just go to this policy and uh, under this policy so here it's showing the success today it's very fastly it was added actually it's taking a lot of time sometimes so now if you want to add some more users so you can go here and and just mention it say like a admin uh, once or any other the account i have only the two users so now once you have done it you can save it again and once you update your the, the policy then the another account also will be added here so that is our agenda uh now our this uh, azure ad harman singh account has added and it is a part of the administrator group so you can control your the group membership with your um, the Intune account protection policy as well and part of uh, the most of the companies are using uh, this uh, uh, it's controlling with the AD, uh, AD part so guys uh, thank you for watching this video uh, see you soon in my the next video thank you